My name is Robin McCracken and I'm the diesel product manager for Motorhome Headquarters and today we're going to talk about diesels. The one thing that you want to know about is the most exciting coach on the market today. This thing is absolutely amazing. I'll give you a little history of it. It was Travel Supreme and then Jayco of all people decided to go ahead and buy this uh, company and then they decided to do a Lexus division of, uh, of uh, Toyota Lexus kind of thing and they have a Jayco division and Integra division for luxury selling coaches. I want to put this in, in the motorhome via car attitude, this would be a 300 Mercedes. You're entering the luxury line division and there's some features on this coach that will by far blow away anybody out there period. There's no question about it. The big thing that you're going to notice right off the bat Sickens paint again. Sickens paint is the best paint on the market. You have to have a coach and that's what you need to ask for is does this coach have Sickens paint? What it's going to mean to you is that three years, four years, five years down the road when this fiberglass expands and contracts, you're not going to start getting spider webs all over this coach, okay? It's always going to be perfect. There's certain brands, I'll mention Country Coach for years, uh, they're out of business now, they did Sickens, they were known for the best paint in the business, and you can look at 25-year-old coaches, and the one thing you're going to notice is the paint is gorgeous, and that's what this coach has. This coach has Sickens paint, it's always going to look perfect, you don't have to make the excuses of thermal cracking, and then paint this and that, and the reason why the paint's coming off, or whatever. This is the best, and that's what this coach carries. The other thing that this coach does that nobody does is a two-year bumper-to-bumper warranty. Two-year. I'm not talking dot the I's, cross the T's, okay, I, I didn't do this, I didn't do that. I don't care if the refrigerator goes out. I don't care if the washing machine goes out. Those are one-year warranties. The Jayco Integra Division will take care of it, no questions asked. They're the best in the business. They've been around 42 years. We've been around 30 years. And in my 20 personal years of business, I've never seen a manufacturer take care of their customer better than this coach and this, uh, this line of coaches does. So it's, I'm very excited about it. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to walk around and I'm going to show you a couple features that will blow the competition away. So here's what we got. Number one, of course, side cam cameras. Everybody's got to have side cameras, vision, and that's really neat. But the other thing you're going to also notice is the way this door is situated, okay? Notice the paint all the way around. Look at the coach. I don't care if you're spending three, four, five hundred thousand dollars. Look at the coach, and if you have a piece of rubber around there, that's telling you one thing. They're having a hard time keeping the wind noise out from the interior. Nothing more irritating than having this gorgeous coach coming down the road and all you're hearing is this humming from the wind. Okay, what these guys do different than anybody else, and I'll open this door up to show you, they have an automatic air locking system on this coach. So Scott, you want to go right up here and see this little valve up there. And when you put this coach in drive, you'll hear a snap of the front door and what it's doing is sucking that door in, okay? So it actually sucks the door in, not allowing any wind noise, and then therefore I can have a full painted trim package all the way around instead of a cheap piece of rubber all the way around. I noticed some of these manufacturers, they actually even white. They don't even try to blend it into the paint job. It's the silliest thing I've ever seen. So what you got here is a beautiful finish. You got, of course, the awning. And then the one thing that these guys are just blowing the competition away, this is bus style, Prevo style windows. What I mean by that is they're flush. Okay, I don't have, and I noticed this other manufacturer, they're saying flush style now too because Integra's been doing this for a couple years. What they're doing is they're taking the trim around a regular window and they're painting it. That's not flush style. This is what flush style windows mean. It has a very clean look. It's got a bus style look. Wind noise. Again, wind noise. Okay, windows cause noise. This will be the quietest coach you've ever, ever been in. And it doesn't matter what line of coach you get in. This is the Aspire. 
by Integra, then there is the Anthem, and then there's the Cornerstone. They're all built the same. They just have more stuff added on each one of them. So the framing, everything on this coach is the same as the $600,000 Cornerstone. So that's what's so exciting about this. There's not a small, medium, and large, different framing, different siding, different fiberglass. Uh uh. They are built the same. So what you got here is Sickens paint, flush windows, really clean look, keyless entry. Best in the business, I have a little handhold and I have one of these. And this will lock the front door. And what I'll show later is there's actually a little pad in the bedroom. And if you're like I am, I wake up at 3 in the morning worried about the uh, front door being open. I can click that little pad underneath the cabinetry and I'll show you that later. That will lock this front door. So it's really a sweet deal. All right, so I'm going to have 100 gallons of fuel. I could fill from either side, but the one thing that people are not doing, manufacturers aren't doing, is, is that this is about as clean a slide as it gets, okay? What I mean by that is this is a flush, a true flush slide, all right? Very few manufacturers will do it because it just takes too much effort. All right, they cut the corners, all right? It's much easier to have this trailer-style piece of trim around here, okay? And then when you have that trailer uh, piece of trim, it doesn't matter how the slides come in, it's still going to be airtight, wind tight, and all this kind of stuff. But what if you do it right, okay? What if you do it the way it's supposed to be? When this slide comes in, it's going to look like a nice little finish like this. You're going to have to look at it twice to, to see if it even is a slide. It's that clean, all right? So when I look underneath, I don't have the bars. I don't have the big ham mechanisms. Okay, this slide will come in precision, like watch-like precision. Okay, so when it comes in, it's the best slide in the business. And it comes in, it's flush, it's not a lot of rattling, not a lot of squeaking. It also cuts down the wind noise. Okay, so part of the reason why this is the quietest coach on the market is because of how they do the fit and finish. Not only the fact that the, it's probably twice the insulation than anybody else in the industry. All right, so you're talking three-inch walls. The industry standard is nowhere near that. Try some of these that are just built like a trailer. They're inch and a half, two inches maybe. This is three-inch wall, okay, with aluminum and aluminum studded built just like a house, 16 on center. A lot of the industry has just done nothing more than laminate a trailer and put a diesel on it. And then they can't understand why it's so uh, noisy and rattling and things fall apart. Some of these manufacturers don't even frame for the windows. They just take a router and they cut around and flop it in there and they can't understand two years later why it's leaking. Okay, that's never going to happen in this coach. The biggest thing when you start buying high-end coaches like this, construction and do it right the first time. All right, so you have a two-year bumper-to-bumper warranty. I've had extreme cases where I've had people that live nowhere near the manufacturer, nowhere near a mechanic, and they actually shipped in people to take care of you. So they'll do whatever it takes to make sure you're happy. They'll call you every 30 days. They're absolutely fantastic. So this is the Aspire again. It's Freightliner, cha uh, or in this case, this is a Freightliner, but they're now coming in Spartan chassis, and it's going to have 295 tires and 275s on the back. You have your dual, okay, for your uh, tanks, dual fill. And then the one thing that they're doing today, all right, they moved the batteries up, all right? So you have four house batteries, easy rollout slides, easy to get to, and the entire point of this coach is wonderful engineering. It's not an afterthought, and you, no matter how much research you do, with, the more research you're going to do on this coach, the more this coach will shine. So I have easy access to get to my batteries, I have a beautiful slide, I have solid aluminum doors, hidden hinges, everything else the way it should be, and then I have my controls, okay, my slide mechanisms, this is a big feature. If I'm paying a mechanic $125 an hour, let them get to the stuff easily. You'll notice, for, to maintain this coach, to work on this coach whatsoever, I don't have to tear walls down. I don't have to slide through things that are impossible to get through. All right, I got everything wide open, everything easy to get to. Now what you're gonna notice in this bay, look at the full size door, all right? A lot of these slides are built into the chassis 
messing around with the infrastructure of the coach. Integra, what they do is they put their motors above the slide. They put their bars above the chassis. Okay, so, so what I have here is my nine, uh, nine inch rail, and you'll notice all the mechanisms are above it. What does that give you? Huge interior space. This is probably the widest opening, the highest space in the industry by far. I've seen some of these brands that this chass uh, the chassis is so far down, okay, that you can't even, there's no point of having a full slide in this thing. This is a thousand pound slide that slides out either way, and, uh, and what's the point if I only have that much clearance? All right, so, so it's very important you see how construction is made. And there is the reason why this will beat anybody on the market. What I also want you to do, Scott, you need to come back in here because here's where this one is set apart from anybody else. X bracing throughout the entire coach. All right, very important to have braces everywhere. You have about four X bracing throughout the entire length of the coach, five in between the rails. What that means to you is the coach doesn't twist. Okay, so the reason why things fit well, it doesn't squeak and rattle, the cabinetry doors are always going to fit perfectly, is because the coach doesn't twist. All right, a lot of the manufacturers skip all that. So if you see no support, underneath your basement and the basement's everything the other thing I want you to point out is is look how clean it is everything's to its point everything has its place yeah, I don't have wires hanging all over the place I mean it's it's just a beautiful work of art so watch your head there. <laughs> it's a beautiful work of art so so it's uh, but the part of the reason why this coach drives so well is there's X bracing everywhere Okay, so you have tremendous cross members, side members, all right, so when I'm going down the road, I don't have the braces, I'm going to start twisting, I'll bump, uh, I have a steel rod that goes over the front cap, I don't have to worry about windshields, I don't have to worry about my slides going in and out, it's always going to do perfectly, so that's the advantage of all this X bracing going on, so I have utility area right here so you actually have a filter for a residential air conditioner and a filter for all the coach and then I have my own furnace alright this is a true full-time coach I'll get more into it but what we're talking about is 24 R factor industry standards like 9 I have 26 roof industry standard again is 9 for the R factor okay Th there's nobody who will touch the insulation the biggest thing about this is I have an R33 floor. Industry standard 7. All right, R33. What it's going to mean to you is not only for the insulation up here in the winter time or going in sub-zero weather, and then I'm out in Florida, so of course we worry the reverse. We want air conditioning to work a lot less. All right, but the big thing about this ride, I mean, it's got the quietest ride in the industry by far. You take this thing out on the road, and you're going to, first thing you're going to notice, I'm not hearing the, the tires. I'm not hearing the transmission. I'm not hearing the engine near as much as I'm hearing on the other one. The other thing is, is the entire industry tended to do either homemade chassis or go to Freightliner. All right, Freightliner's a great coach, a great chassis, everything else. But I am here to tell you flat out, Nothing rides like a Spartan. So, so the Spartan is more set up for motorhomes. It's a heavier chassis. It makes a quieter ride with the 295 tires in the front, 275s in the back. I mean, it's going to have a beautiful handling ride. And I'll pretty much guarantee you, you'll never have a coach ride as well as this one will. Okay, so that's very exciting on that one. But an R33 roof is amazing. The one thing that you have now is, again, the beautiful... Uh, flush windows, the incredible paint job, and then of course we're going to put an outside entertainment center for you. So, and that has the stereo system, speaker system, everything else. So, this already comes standard with in motion satellite. It comes standard with uh, uh, all set up, and you can have two receivers. This one is operated by your bedroom, and then the front TVs are operated in in the living room area. But uh, you can have totally independent if you want. So this is a real clean, real nice setup. I can't believe how many entertainment centers. What I'm noticing is that you open this door and there's the TV. Number one, who looks down like that? Number two, look where the awning is. 
when this awning comes out, the TV is going to be exposed to the elements. It's the silliest thing I've ever seen. This is very clean, very to the point, window awnings, toppers, automatic, uh, uh, um, automatic wind-sensored awnings. They're all standard in this coach, in motion standard. So it's a tremendous, tremendous value, and I'll put it up against anybody out there. So we're going to walk around here a little bit. You have a heated utility area. All right, so this has Aquahot, guys. This is the only coach I know of in this price range that has Aquahot. The advantage to Aquahot over a forced air system, number one, it's quieter. Number two, if you have kids, allergies, things like that, this is a wet heat, meaning when I set this coach up, 72, the entire coach is going to be at 72. It's 90% more efficient than forced air, and it's also quieter, but it's definitely healthier. So there is no constant wind action. My eyes are always bloodshot. I'm getting rashes because it's so, it's so dry heat. I got to get the humidifier. Uh-uh. Not with an Aquahot system. Okay, so this is a complete Aquahot system, but you have three zones in the coach and one zone down here. So I can go in severe cold weather. I'm talking minus 10, minus 20 degrees. I could not believe in one of these blog sites I'm reading where the manufacturers actually rep is, uh, <laughs> recommending that they hang a blanket behind the driver's and passenger seat in the severe cold weather. That's the most absurd thing I've ever heard. Why not just insulate it correctly and use the right heating system? That makes more sense than hanging a blanket on, in, in, a, in a beautiful coach like this to try to keep you warm. Silliest thing I've ever heard. So you have a separate heating system for your utility area. All right, so I have the house and then a separate heating system. I don't have to winterize this one. If you don't want to winterize, you want to use it every once in a while during the weekend, even though it's cold outside, this is the coach. There's no question about it. So I have my, my slide again flush, my windows flush. Everything looks really, really, really clean. And then I get to the engine compartment, okay? Engine compartment is going to have two house batteries, and we move the DEF system. DEF system is, is, is a requirement by the government, but we don't want it next to the fuel tank. We don't want you making the potential mistake of, of filling this with diesel. Uh, this is clean environment. There, uh, I can start it up, and it's actually exhausting fresh air. So what that's going to just mean to use, number one, it's actually helped the uh, fuel economy, which is really kind of nice. And then it also uh, doesn't blacken the car, your tow vehicle, your towed, whatever. Okay, so it's got a very clean system. It's doing quite well. We get around the back here. This is a 15,000 pound hitch. So this is a big boy. This, this will tow pretty much anything you want. If you're one of these that has to take a trailer in your car and, and golf carts or whatever you want, this baby can do it without a problem. Okay, so you have the nice crown. You have the rear camera. Now, one thing about this rear camera, a lot of people like I do, okay, well, I drive with the camera on all the time. And this has a three-way split, so I can have the side cameras on and the main camera on. But when I'm backing up, I can't see what's going on. I have a toggle switch on the dash, and that camera can be pointed straight down, and I can get within a half inch with the accuracy of that camera. So I can use it to help back me up, and then I can use it and adjust it accordingly for the street in use. I thought it was brilliant. I haven't seen that until very expensive units. So this is a tremendous bang for the dollar. So we're going to walk around the side here and I'm going to show you the rest of it. Okay, we covered one side of the coach, so now it's time to go to the other side. A couple things that are big deals here, all right, is you hear the 40 foot, the 42, it's too long, it's too hard to drive. Let me tell you what's happened when you start adding a tag wheel. All right, the tag wheel is a huge feature. All right, what's happening is you're taking a payload on a 40 foot with all this luxury of maybe 800 pounds, 1200 pounds. It doesn't take much to overload it. I know a couple of my friends, we're done. All right, now what you're doing with this additional tag, how about 9,500 pounds? A couple Hummers on the roof and you're gonna be fine, all right? So you're dramatically increasing the payload. So if length is not important to you, make sure you have a tag wheel. Now, 90% of the wear on that tag wheel is because the tag needs to be lifted when you're backing up. 
Integra has already figured that out. So it's an automatic, all right? So when I put this thing in reverse, you're going to hear a big surge of energy. And what that is is air coming out of the airbag, allowing this tag to raise up so it doesn't get all scuffed up. So it's a really neat feature. The one thing that totally blows me away is how many manufacturers are going to the cheaper jacks, all right? We don't do that. Integra does not do that. I'm going to have Scott come on in here and take a look at this, but you're going to notice this is a hydraulic jack, which is what pretty much everybody is, but notice there's no springs in it, all right? What that means is I got hydraulic coming down and hydraulic coming up, all right? I don't have hydraulic coming down, releasing the hydraulic and have a spring allow me to come up. It, what happens is you end up using a shovel because the, the, the jack is stuck in the mud and then I got to sit there and get my hands wet and my, my back hurting and everything else trying to get my jacks out. So I got hydraulic going down, hydraulic coming up. Look at that when you're looking at these coaches. All right? Best jack in the business. So it's a, it's a wonderful feature. The other thing right here is, again, I told you it's all heated. All right? So I can take this in severe weather. All right, Canada in the winter time, not a problem. If you like skiing in Colorado, whatever it is, you'll notice there's a heat duct right there. Okay, so I got vacuum bonded. I have everything all set up to use any time of year I want. So that's a neat, neat, neat feature. I have outdoor shower, hot water, adjustable. If I do want to winterize, it's very simple. I just put this in antifreeze and then turn on the water pump. And then I have a power hose reel, really nice with a flush system. And how about that? A monitor, okay? I don't have to yell to my wife, okay, what is the, the holding tanks? I have my own monitor in here. And again, like what I was talking about, is that I have access to everything. So they have access panels, everything else to get to whatever I need to get. If I have to repair something, it is wide open. So that's a really neat feature, all right? It's got called good engineering. This wasn't done on a napkin. Right? It's amazing how many manufacturers, oh, let's put a slide here, let's put a this here, and then they worry about it later. I've seen too many like that. A good example is right here. Remember I told you this had aqua hot, okay? You usually don't see that in this value of a coach, all right? The competition I'm competing with with this coach, they don't have aqua hot. They have a forced air system and they say it's not that important. Aqua hot is the way to go. I have a power cord reel. And you'll also notice, which I thought was pretty neat, is look at everything. Everything's right here, everything I can get to. I have all my controls right here. So if I have to maintain that aqua hot setup, my tech, 300 pounds, there's no way he's going to get what's typical, and that is shoved in the center of the bay and then up on a pedestal where you have to be part of orangutan to get into it. Here it is, wide open, ready to get to, ready to service. My cord reel, all right? I've seen a lot of coaches where the cord reel is actually in the wall. What happens if you have to repair it? What's going to happen? So this one's wide open. It's right there. And instead of a rat's hole here, okay, I can put it right there, slam the door, and I, and I have full access immediately to my cord without have to finishing. And, you know, God forbid it's dirty and muddy, but I don't have to sit there and try to feed that thing through this rat hole. Okay, so this is real nice. It's got a real clean look. Very nice setup, all right? Again, the slide, what I was talking about before. I'm going over the chassis, not through the chassis, so that allows my massive doors, all right? So I don't have these big bars where the motors are coming in, and I have my flush, my paint, fiberglass roof, triple air conditioners, heat pumps, and this is running a 10kW generator. I mean, how, how's it get any better than that? The other thing is they want you to keep this paint job sweet looking all the time. Nothing more irritating than having the air conditioner running and the condensation running over the sides. These guys actually pipe it through the walls and have it come out the wheel wells. They make it very clean for you. So I have a huge propane. All right, so this is a propane-fired aqua hot and the tank is enough to last you all season and then I have my uh, 
jacks right here. Again, easy to service, and then the sewer hose container. So everything's wide open, everything's very easy to get to, and that's the key feature of this coach, and I keep on pushing that because it's very important. I'm, I'm totally amazed when I come to some of these coaches, and they're just not engineered well, so that's a nice feature. The other thing I got here, very clean, very to the point, but this is my electronics for the coach. All right, I have electronics, fuses, everything inside the coach for the house, and then I have electronics and fuses for the chassis itself. They're separated, they're easy to get to, easy to maintain. Again, like I said, it's a 10 kW generator, and it's automatic, and it does have a slide out tray. And I also have that diamond coating as well, so it doesn't chip, it doesn't, it doesn't get into the uh, rocks and ruin my gorgeous paint job. So if you look at the windows, the package, the flush slide, uh, the paint job, there's nothing that's going to uh, keep up with this at all. Nothing. So we're going to spend some time. We're going to go inside the coach, and I'll join you in a second. One thing I want you to notice, okay, when you go in these coaches, and it doesn't matter how expensive they are, look at the tile here, all right? There's a reason why this coach has tile and the other ones are just rubber, all right? Remember what I talked about earlier, the X-bracing all throughout this coach, the, the, the bars that are running over the windshield keep this thing from twisting. That is the reason why on the stairwell, they can do tile. Integra does tile. Everybody else uses rubber. Now we're going to go through the interior of the coach, and you're going to see why this one shines well above everybody else. First of all, the first thing you're going to notice is customized tile throughout the entire coach. Okay, the one thing that I was talking about is Aqua Hot. The other coaches, $100,000 more, have a heated tile, but they use an electric grid. This is actually running the hot aqua hot um, uh, pipes underneath the tile floor to give you heated floors. I have nothing more enjoyable at 20 to 10 below zero, whatever you're at, and you got nice heated tiles. I know the pets will love it. So that is a feature nobody else in the industry does. This coach does it, and I'm totally all about it because I thought it was brilliant. The other thing on this coach is what you're going to find is everything's so simple. Okay, so I have things where they belong, okay? I don't have to go in the fuses, go in the closet, go underneath the bed, any of that nonsense. So I have all the stuff that I need in the coach right here. All right, my inverters, automatic generator starts, 2,800 inverter. I can run everything in here off of batteries, even my washer and dryer, refrigerator, in-motion satellite dish, awnings, the whole thing here. And then on the other side, what we're gonna get here, is my 110. About as convenient as it can get, about as simple as it gets, and you cannot beat this, the way it's, it's posted. Everything's out in the open. How easy is that? Okay, so I'm moving the TV off to the side. I'm not taking my center. I'm moving the TV off the side. The whole reason for that is so when the slides come in, I still have great visibility. So that's, that's another neat feature. Of course, I have a slide cover that will go over this tile wheel well. But the big thing also is these custom chairs, all right? Everything's flex steel, but everything is made by Integra. As far as the ultra leather, it's a real nice finish. But one thing I want to point out here is look at where the seat belts are, okay? Something that most people do not realize. But when I have a seat belt inside the chair, that means I have a steel plate. Department of Transportation requires seat belts be mounted in steel. If I have a seat belt that is attached to the wall, that means I'm just sitting on plywood. Okay, so something to really notice and what I'm totally shocked in the industry a couple years ago, everybody was going to this and then I'm noticing all of a sudden seat belts are attached to the wall. Well, that's what's going on. It's cheaper, it's easier to do. That's not the way Integra does it. So, so it's a really nice feature. The camera, GPS is standard on this thing. So I have my uh, backup camera. Again, I have a little joystick to have it go up and down. I have my air conditioners, of course. My GPS, it's already XM uh, Sirius ready. Uh, smart wheel, all my dash controls. Everything's very easy to get to. Automatic leveling, my jacks. Now this is running a two-stage jake break. 
All right, what I've seen at, in the competition, and I'll pick on some coaches, but what I've seen in the competition is they're juicing up these little 240s all the way up to 400, but they cannot add a jake break. A jake break and exhaust break, totally different features, okay? So a jake break is actually what tractor trailers use to slow down the coach to speeds. It actually is the valves in the motor not just a silly little uh, $1,200 butterfly valve in the exhaust. So I don't care if I'm going 70 miles an hour, I can turn on the Jake going down, the, down a mountain and customize the speed without riding my brakes. So it's very important. So that's something to definitely notice. Okay, full air mattress uh, 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 sofa here, and it also has footrests. So I got a footrest, 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 jackknife futon, type sofa on this side, seat belts everywhere. It's just a phenomenal. Look how big this sofa is, okay? So it's a really nice feature. I also have my shades instead of the day-night shades, which are very irritating. I have my solar shades, and then I have my blackout shades. All right, instead of pushing a button, I can get to it very easy and it's extremely efficient. So I already said that it has triple air conditioners, heat pumps, aqua hot tile, heat it with the aqua hot, which is absolutely amazing. All right, so I can go in sub zero weather. The only coach I know of that insulates the front and rear caps, 99.9% .9 of the manufacturers out there don't do it. I don't know why, it's the silliest thing I've ever heard. Insulate it. So you have an R33 floor, this huge floor. You have 26, 24. Nobody in the industry will even come close to that. So that is a really, really nice feature. All right, so uh, vital top, lights. One thing also that this coach has that I thought was really kind of neat, you have a multi-level wiring system right here, okay? That is the same thing Prevo Bus uses. The advantage of multi-level wiring system versus an on and off switch, I'm saving 400 pounds of wiring alone just by having low voltage. Okay, if I have a positive and a negative, I have to sit there and worry about whether to disconnect. Uh-uh, not on this. And I'll show you more in the bathroom where the mother, mother panel is, but this one is low voltage. The other advantage to this, 100% dimmer switches. I can do dimmer custom, and then it has memory, meaning that if your wife likes this dark and this light, I can shut off the coach, turn it on, and it's the exact same way she, you left it. So you don't have to reorganize and relight it, whatever. Best wiring system in the business. Same wiring system on the Anthem, which is 100,000 more. The Cornerstone, which is another 100,000 more. Like I said, this coach has all the bells and whistles. All right, just less, less features when you start going up in price. So, so the basis of this coach is just phenomenal. Nobody will touch it. So I have a, a jackknife sofa here. I have a slide out uh, table here. Again, seat belts everywhere. You do have the option to put recliners if you want. You do have the option to put freestanding chairs. Not a problem. The one thing that this coach would be superior at is the cabinetry. All right, 70% of Jayco is Amish. And, and with that, you're gonna get this incredible cabinetry. It's all custom made. This is not any vinyl wraps or any of this nonsense. It's beautifully, beautifully done. So the cabinetry, I'll, I'll put it up against anybody. So what I was talking about with the low voltage wiring on that multiplex system, I have a multiplex system here that does the same thing. Turn on my lights, turn on everything else. And so it doesn't matter what direction I am on the coach, that's what I have. 40 inch TV, center, I have the 26 up front. It's just uh, TVs everywhere. Outside TV, bedroom TV. Now the one thing that they have done that I think they've passed everybody in is the kitchen. If you take a look at this kitchen, number one you're gonna notice, I mean if that is not the sweetest thing for your silverware, put your forks, so, uh, rollers, full extension, Corian countertops, I have more drawers than I know what to do with. They're everywhere, pull-outs. I mean, it, the biggest complaint that I got for years is where's my trash can? Well, there it is. And look at this. Big, big, big drawers. All right, so I have trash can. I have my corn tops here that I can just slide right in here. 
nobody is touching the cabinetry in this coach. The one neat feature also is this is an actual slide out. And then look at this. Look at how big this thing is. All right, drawers everywhere, and they maximize, they maximize the interior cabinetry so I can just put everything I can possibly think of in this coach. So I can tuck it away, I can keep it out, tons of room. I have even slides up here, so, so that's really a neat feature. Here's one thing I didn't even see. Okay, this little control pad right here, I don't know anybody who does this. This is a neat, neat, neat feature. You get into a campsite. There's trees everywhere. You're worried about your slide. You're worried about a pole, whatever. This is a remote control slide mechanism for your rooms. I can do this outside. I used it the other day. It was the neatest thing. I was up against a telephone pole. I did, was concerned about this 30-inch slide going out and hitting the pole. I just walked around, hit the button. Slide came out and I stopped it exactly where I needed it to go. So I don't know anybody who's doing remote control slide out rooms. It's the neatest thing. And this is all in our entry level coach. So it's, it's absolutely amazing. So you have a two tiered, you can put spices, you can put whatever you like, but it's got a beautiful room. And then I have storage. Big drawers, solid wood, not vinyl wraps or any of that stuff. So I have my footrest, my footrest, my footrest, big drawers, uh, beautiful finish, a working fireplace. Now this is again a light show, all right, but what is more importantly is not only can I fix the lights and make it look like a nice flame, but I also have a thousand BTUs of heat, all right, so I have triple air conditioners, heat pumps, thousand uh, BTUs of heat, aqua hot, hot water, heat, the best in the business is in this coach. Nobody is touching this coach. The other thing uh, that is really neat, okay, the biggest refrigerator. This is a residential refrigerator. 24 cubic foot right out of your house. None of this LP stuff, all right? So I have these gigantic, gigantic storage bins. All right, you can put anything you want in this refrigerator. It's just absolutely huge. I have big inverters to handle this. It's so much more efficient than an LP system. I can go dry camping all I want, and I don't have to worry about draining my batteries or any of that stuff because I have automatic generator starts. I got four batteries for the house, two for the engine. More than enough, more than adequate to do everything here. The other thing that you're going to get here is the sound system on this coach is fantastic. All right, and then this is where my 13-year-old comes in. He knows more about it. But there's an actual button that you push that you can actually adjust your speakers to whatever you like. So if you tend to sit on the right more or the left more, in the back more, you can adjust these speakers any way you want. It's the neatest thing, far beyond my capability. That's why I carry a 13-year-old. He knows exactly how to do this stuff. So now what I have also is you're going to have my DVD players, all right, and, I, and that's where I would put my uh, control box. Uh, I have plugs galore. If you want something fancier, it's all set up for it. So it's very easy to do, very simple. Storage again everywhere. I cannot believe that uh, you're going to find more storage, more interior space, more exterior space than any other coach out there. It's, it's, it's phenomenal. It's absolutely amazing. This huge refrigerator, this floor plan also allows this big pantry. And this is a slide out rail that comes out. But um, wherever the button is, I don't know, but it comes out and it slides out. And so you can really st uh, stash your cans and, and groceries, whatever. So you have this big, incredible size refrigerator with pantry. I mean, how do you beat it? So let's go on to the other side here and the rest of the coach. All right, we're now going into the bathroom, okay? We have a double vanity in this floor plan. Nice setup. 
They changed the style of the wood just to get more interior decorating going on. But you can see the woodwork. It's, it's just phenomenal. They just do an incredible job with it. Uh, uh, you're going to also have, again, like you had in the kitchen, these huge doors and with roller bearings, full extension. I don't have to lift up. I don't have to play with it. Uh, they just fit and finish just beautifully. This is all custom cabinetry, guys. This is made specifically for this coach. This wasn't part of a line where they turn around and said, hey, we got some doors to use. More storage. Okay, so they're really maximizing every inch of this coach, and that's what you're going to enjoy. You're also going to see that there's tile floor, again, even in the bathroom, and now what I said with the water heat for the tile floor, you now have the heat for the bathroom floor, too. So I know, me personally, I'm going barefooted uh, when I wake up, and so it's nice to have a heated tile floor. All right, what I'm going to also show you here, and this is what I think really pushes this coach away, is that when you see these interior doors, look how residential it is. Look at these panels. Look at how clean this is. All right, this is solid wood, guys. All right, so when you go see this, this is not a boss of wood. I mean, this is a heavy, heavy door. But one thing you're going to notice is, number one, it goes all the way to the ground. All right, so very residential. And then number two, there is no locks on it. All right, how do you lock it? All right, every other coach out there, they got this big push button thing that you have to go through the floor. They got a bar that you got to go through to lock this door. Uh-uh. This coach is automatic. All right, remember a long time ago, it feels, that I went and I showed you the front door and how it locks and the air sucks it in. The same time you put this coach in the drive, there's an air bladder that expands automatically for your interior doors. All right, so no more the missus is coming out here at 60 miles an hour trying to close doors that you thought you were locked. This is totally, totally automatic. All right, so it's the neatest feature you ever want to see, that this door and that door automatic interior doors lock. So it's, it's a neat feature. I don't know anybody else that does that. If we go into the bathroom, you've got the efficiency commodes, everything else in here. Aqua, uh, you have your air fan, water, uh, this is for your commode, but this is what you want to look at. This is the motherboard. I have air conditioning and heating system, 100% off of this monitor. I don't have three monitors throughout the coach, and then I can set it to whatever I want. My aqua hot system, I can actually put it on electric, guys. All right, I don't have to use my fuel, so if I get to a campsite and I need to just plug in and want to use the campsite's electric, there it is. I can do the heating right there. But this is what changes everybody. This, this Integra system is a spider system that we used to use on Prevo buses for $2 million. Okay? This is about as simple as it gets. A green light means it's working. A red light means it's not. And then if you don't know what these numbers are, here it is listed all right here. So the entire lighting system, the interior of the coach, is all right here. About as simple, as simple as it gets, and it's idiot-proof. I don't have to sit there and take a sensor and try to figure out whether the fuse is dead or not. You'll see a red light. Red light means it's out, and that's all you do. So uh, it's about as simple as it gets, and I don't know anybody who will touch that system. All right, the shower is, first of all, it's, it's set up low onto the ground, so somebody like me, I'm six foot four, has no problem taking a shower. It's got a nice bow to it. And you'll notice it's not a fiberglass wall two-piece, okay? It's all molded one piece. No way this thing's going to leak. I see a lot of problems with these uh, shower stalls that come in, and then they put the walls on later where they're leaking, they're cracked, whatever. This is, no, this is a molded one-piece shower system. Uh, you have a handheld spigot. It can adjust to whatever height. You got your grandkids with you, whatever. You can lower it. It's a great system. And let me tell you, the advantage of AquaHot shower, if I'm hooked up, I could do a 10-hour shower on this thing. It's unlimited hot water, okay? So that's a huge advantage, and I know the ladies will love it, is I don't have this little 10-gallon tank that I'm trying to take my shower in. All right, unlimited hot water in this thing. So uh, we're going to come on over to the bedroom. This is standard now, all right? All this cabinetry, and then a king-size bed air. All right, so I have adjustable air mattress. 
It's the neatest thing. It'll make it the most quieted out there. You'll notice that there's cross windows on each side, and then I have my electrical system right here. So just like the front, I can do it in the back, okay? And again, it's 100% dimmer switches, so if I like the bedroom a little brighter than the living room, whatever, whatever it is. But one thing I want you to, uh, Scott, I want you to pan underneath is underneath the cabinetry, you don't even have to get out of bed to work the lights. All right, there's another lighting system in there. So that's a real neat feature too. And remember the control I was talking about, I set it right here so you can get to, but that's usually underneath the cabinetry. That will lock the front door. So three o'clock in the morning, oh, did I lock the door? No problem, hit the button, you're done. So it's really a neat feature. So uh, the cabinetry, but look at how nice this cabinetry is. Big, deep drawers, but then I have my hidden compartment. All right, you, it took me 20 minutes to find this thing when it first came out because the cabinetry is so nice. But I have a surround sound system for in the bedroom and I have a separate surround sound system for the living room. So it's a really neat feature and I can play some tunes. The other thing is when I hook up my satellite and I have my receiver, this receiver here will do the outside. So the people could watch the living room in a different channel than, than the outside. So it makes it a nice feature. full washer and dryer and that's residential none of this combo stuff okay I got a residential washer and dryer I can do regular sheets I can do regular clothes and not have to worry about mising and, and okay do I have to wait 80 minutes for this and do two socks and you're done the other thing that I want you to notice is this has a drain pan in it alright God forbid you overflow that will go outside of the coach and not flood up your entire coach. So that's a nice little feature. I don't know anybody who does these little things. Like I said, this is the best engineered coach on the market. So you have to look at the little things and, and how it's laid out. And nobody will lay this coach out better than Integra does. One thing that we have here on this closet, it doesn't look like much, but what you're looking at, okay, is all insulation on the other side. Biggest issue that these coaches are having is the fact that they don't insulate the back. They don't, they don't insulate anything if they can get away with it. But in this particular coach, they insulate the back for, just like they insulate the front. The advantage to a closet insulated, no mold. All right, so when you get moisture back there, that's where the mold is. So you, I see trades all the, day, all, the, all the time come in, and they have green mold in the closet. They don't know why. Well, it's because you're not insulated, so it's real simple. If you insulate it, you're not going to have a problem. And this is the best insulated coach on the market, hands down. Hi, right, my name's Robin McCracken. I'm very excited that you sat through this tape to watch me explain this coach. I'm part of the uh, motorhome uh, uh, headquarters. I'm the diesel manager. Feel free to call us anytime. We love to cut a deal on this. We'll beat anybody out there, period. No questions asked. So give us a call. Thank you very much.